by west of Scorpio, beyond the bear, through the bow of Sagittarius, standing there in the spinning wheel, that Ezekiel drew for a sign. Fly your future ways. There you are, my star, crawling from afar, whispering, come to me from where you are. So You're gabbing, Sandy. Come on and give me a hand. Good going. There. That should do it. Marco! Oh, Marco! Any luck today? Hi, Mr. Giovanni. Oh, we had to come in early. It, it seems all the fish were hiding. It's this strange easterly wind. Perhaps the weather will change. Ah, uh, it always changes for the worse. Give my regards to your grandfather. I will, Mr. Giovanni. So long. Giovanni says it's because of this easterly wind. Oh, and he sends his regards. The wind to the east, of course. Marco, 
Forget Giovanni and the fish and listen to what I must tell you. Oh, but Grandpa... Drop the fish and come here, boy. Perhaps he is still too young. Too young for what, Grandpa? To learn your destiny, boy. Listen to me very closely. You may forget every word I've ever spoken to you during your entire lifetime, Marco. But remember what I tell you now. This chest and its contents were presented to an ancestor of yours by the great Mongol ruler, Kublai Khan, at Xanadu. Xanadu? Where is Xanadu? Never mind now. Read from that scroll. With the wind to his back and a star before, the 49th Polo must leave his shore and follow fate to the east once more. Through water, earth, fire and air, through nameless dangers he must dare to rescue Xanadu from care. When friendship's metal is restored and Xanadu saved from the sword, then shall he find his fate's reward. This is half of the golden medallion of friendship, Marco. With it, you must return to Xanadu. Me? Why me? Because you are that 49th heir of Marco Polo. Must I go, Grandpa? Yes, lad. But whatever you do, guard the medallion with your life. You look out, boy! He's trying to get my medallion! <laughs> Adversary is already in motion. There's not a moment to lose. You must start out for Xanadu. Now, you must go, Marco. Quickly. This is the house. We know you're in there, old man. Open up. We're wasting time. <laughs> There's the old man. Seize him! Seize him! The boy! Where is the boy? And the medallion. It's not here. What did that Speak up, old man. Where is the boy and the medallion? You are too late. The boy is gone. Oh, yeah. He can't be far away. After him. The red dragon will be angry. We must find the boy. And the medallion. Come on. Let's get out of here. Go, Marco. Go. of the landmarks, Sandy. And now we're all alone, headed into the trackless ocean. And do you know what, Sandy? I'm not scared at all. Why, I feel right at home. <laughs> Sandy. 
Zanzibar, Zamboa, but no Xanadu. It's, it's not on the charts, Sandy. But I'm sure it's somewhere out there, due east. The easterly wind is still with us, driving us straight on toward the eastern star. Are you not my Minister of State? Minister of State? <laughs> Poppycock! My men have seized the palace, and now I have the medallion of Kubla Khan! All Sanadu is mine! The medallion will do you no good. It is written that my... Ha! I know all about the heir of that meddler, Marco Polo! At this very moment, my spies are disposing of him and his half of the medallion. He's through. Kaput! No, he will come. He will come. <laughs> what a laugh. I love people who make me laugh. I love you, my beautiful little plum blossom. When we're married, I will become the legal king of Xanadu! <laughs> I'll never marry you, never. I should have seen your evil influence spreading its ugly shadow over Xanadu. <laughs> oh, princess, my princess, it's plain as plain can be. Each of us is slave to his destiny. You with all your innocence and beauty. And with an unfortunate sense of duty. You were born to be a queen. While I... <laughs> I was born to be mean. Be <laughs> mean. I enjoy kidnapping lovely ladies. I know you handy with babies. Oh, you were born to be kissed. And I, ha-ha, I was born to be hissed. Stretching victims on the rack you think is frightful. Till their bones begin to curl. I say, oh, delightful. You love peace. I say that's a terrible bore. Couldn't you and I start a nice little war? I mean, he's me as I can be, as he can be. A villain, villain. Oh yes, oh yes. Just one thing makes me mad. Makes him very, very mad. That's when others go seeking your happiness. It's the making of the past who made the history that will last. And though I'm not the first, I mean to be the worst, the most dishonest. Stubborn girl, you take her away and lock her up in the tower under double guard till the day of our wedding. I'll never marry you. Never, never. <laughs> she really adores me. <laughs> Wind from the west awakens the flame. The voice of the flame awakes. Pass the word. The voice of the flame awakes. Pass the word. Sire, the voice of the flame awakes. What's that? The flame awakes? I must see to this myself. What if those bumbling idiots let that boy live? No, oh, maybe it's a false alarm. Just let me get my hands on those idiots. Voice of the flame! Hey, you! 
Voice of the Flame. I am here, O oh evil master. Have you found out anything about the medallion? The medallion, O oh evil master, hangs round the neck of a boy sailing a small boat eastward through the great southern sea. Drat! He's given my stupid spies a slip. <laughs> Let's give him a taste of the Oracle's power. Now, Flame, you listen to me. Build me a huge storm. Stir up the water in that sea till it smashes that boy. Tear him limb from limb, do you hear? Now, you can't shout man overboard till the lad reaches his 21st birthday. You know, you're right. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> that blooming gull, he'll get his, he will. <laughs> now, that's did it proper. Marty, 
on my way to... Uh, no matter. As long as you're on this ship, you'll do your share of the work, you will. Get to work swabbing the deck. And don't let me catch you shirking, either. Uh, I'll do my best, sir. How's about we take the medallion from him now? Yeah, we can jump him while he's not looking. I'm the first mate, and I say we we'll wait for the captain. Blue and kid aren't going nowhere. swabbing the deck, but but I'm really trying to get to Xanadu. Oh, Xanadu, is it? And what's a youngster like yourself chasing a dream as old as that for? Uh, it, it's not a dream. It's a place far to the east, and I must get there. Well, then, so you do. So you do. Let's shift our course five points east. You mean... You'll take me there? Yeah, Seeing's believing, I always say. Tell me, boy, what are you doing so far at sea and not knowing a thing of navigating? <laughs> I can find the North Star. Oh, <laughs> not bad for a green old sailor. But how about navigating your way through life? Do you mean by the stars? You never thought of that, did you? What do you think old prophet Ezekiel was talking about? That great wheel turning up in the middle of the air. Why, it was the great wheel of the Zodiac. And he saw four mighty angels a-coming. And one was the face of a bull. That's the constellation Taurus. 
and one was a lion. That's Leo itself. And the third was an eagle. Now we call that Scorpio. And the fourth was a man. That's Aquarius. You see? Water, earth, fire, air. The four primeval elements turning up in the middle of the air. As above, so below. Water, earth, fire, air. Do you understand, lad? Well, maybe. But there is one star up there, and that's mine. Oh? The eastern star. North by west of Scorpio, beyond the bear.
Chief of the King's Fleet. <laughs> and look there, if it isn't the Grand Admiral himself. <laughs> With a call for first mate. <laughs> Grab a line, Skipper, so we can dock that great clipper ship of yours. Make way! Make way! Give the line a move! Dinosider! Welcome, our noble traveler. What exotic wares do you bring to our humble shores? He's had a rough time in that tiny vessel. Why don't we help him? Indeed, yes. Young traveler, why not sample the wares of our market? Thank you. You are a very kind man, sir. Not at all, my boy. Where are the food stalls? I'm famished. <laughs> for the love of Allah. Make way for the emissaries of the Red Dragon! The Condor tracked the boy to this port. If he's here, we'll find him. Stalls. Above all else, we must get the medallion. Medallion, medallion. Well, the red dragon said... I heard what he said. Capture the boy in the golden medallion and bring them both to me. What wonderful tortures our evil master will concoct for him. Hoo-ha! Hey, wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> Want one, Sandy? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. The boy should be around here somewhere. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. It's the boy! After him! Don't let him get away! Which way did he go? Oh no, no, no! Come on! Run! Run! My dear friends, I, the guru, tell you the world is an illusion made by mind. The senses are snares by which the mind deludes itself. You see, my friends, <gasps> things are not what they seem. Om Namah Shivaya. <laughs> you see, was it not an illusion, my friend? those snakes appear and then disappear because I reached into your minds dear friends and made you see something that did not exist quick lad into the basket hurry hey there goes the boy into the basket ah but how can you be sure my friends you think the boy is in the basket well, of course he is yeah, now we get the medallion. Ha <laughs> Oh, but it's just an illusion. An illusion. 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 All that you see is illusion. 
tiger in a tree, sorcery. Which shall it be? Illusion. Sweets in a dish, swims like a fish, flies like a bird, illusion. Jewels? Fools. <laughs> What's in a word? Illusion. Look into my eyes, tell me, what do you see? Is it but a dream or reality? The shape of things to come, the shadows of the past, phantasmagoric images that just won't last. Out of my way, Faker! Stop! Look deep into my eyes. Do you really believe that no, you no, no. see what you think you perceive? Is that a young man in a basket, wrapped up from head to toe? A strange-looking package with no place to go, wrapped up so tightly you can see. This quite immovable shape is hardly in position to effect escape. Thrust a sword in his soul, thrust another in fear, then another, and another, and another, and another. Oh, dear, we really have to doubt any creature could survive. Alas, alas, poor boy, alive! Go ahead, boy. Have no fear. To hope against hope, there's an end to the world. The answer is no illusion. They're up on that rope somewhere. Let's get them. are very kind to help me, sir. But, but who were those two men chasing me? Oh, they are spies of the Red Dragon, young Marco. You know my name. Of course. You are the very image of the first Marco Polo, whose portrait was engraved in our ancient book of wisdom. Are you perhaps returning with the medallion? I am. Through water, earth, Air and fire? And with it, I must return to Xanadu. So it has been written for centuries. Then I shall be your guide. Our path must be toward the mountains of the monster. Some say there is a secret cave going through the mountains, guarded by a fabulous monster. Is it very far? I do not think an heir of Marco Polo will find it so. But we must hurry. What? The boy is still alive? You let him slip through your fingers? Incompetent imbeciles! I should have you boiled in oil, both of you. No, no, master, not that, please. Oh, I'm surrounded by bumbling amateurs. Get out to the mountains of the monster. There's no other way he can reach Xanadu. Track him down and capture him, understand? Find that boy. Get going. On the double. Yes, oh, yes, master. Oh, yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Gad, you can't get any decent spies anymore. And you too, you beady-eyed, beetle-beaked buzzard! Find the boy and get the medallion! <laughs> I suppose I should consider myself lucky I still have the princess under lock and key. <laughs> Star of the evening. 
bribe the guards to open the gates for a brief moment. We must hurry. But Pango, if you are caught, it means certain death. Better death, dear princess, than life in the evil world of the Red Dragon. Careful, Pango. strong enough to hold Masha, the royal elephant. Up, Masha. Forward. Break the chain. You can do it, Masha. Well done, Masha. Forward. With the princess shining moon! of the sacred river. Loyal Pango, can we really elude the red dragon? We have a chance, princess. There is a hidden place called the Valley of the Ferns. We will hide there. Oh, hurry, hurry. We have no time to lose. On, Marja. On. find them. <laughs> We've scouted long enough, Guru. I say we go straight over the mountains. Patience, young Marco. The Red Dragon has the heights well guarded. We might slip by one monster more easily than thousands of mountain guards.
exquisite medallion. I do believe our large friend is a bit envious. I inherited this from my great, great, great ancestor, Marco Polo. It was given to him by Kublai Khan. Oh, yes, Kublai Khan, those mischievous Khan boys. It was they who sent me here to guard the mountain caves. Oh, I, I can't remember when I was supposed to keep people in or out. Uh, perhaps, my friend, you can direct us on our way to Xanadu? Oh, of course. I have an express cave going straight there. Now, let me see. Um, was it this one? Well, was it that one? Oh, I'm so really mixed up. <laughs> descriptions, descriptions of every description. I've taken devoured from A to Z. From illness to cover. They haven't yet discovered. Oh, oh dear, is that a doctor in the balcony? Oh, don't mention hypertension. I've got it, hay fever, and the common cold. Oh, you can see what the matter with. Haven't my trackers caught up with a princess yet? Not yet, sire. We'll send more soldiers. I know. We'll trap the princess at the headwaters of the sacred river. Send a fleet of barges upstream. Yes, Your Excellency. The princess will soon learn that I'm not a man one escapes from. I want to be married. And soon. We will be safe here, Princess. This hidden valley of the ferns is known to but a few in the royal household. Oh, I hope so, Pandu. That evil red dragon seems to have spies everywhere. upon yourselves by harming weary and hungry travelers. <clears throat> they do not have the look of the Red Dragon's men. The Red Dragon? He's our enemy. In that case, young man, you have a very powerful enemy. But tell me truthfully, how do you come to be hiding in this secret valley? Uh, pardon me, sir, and young lady. Our story is a long one. But hunger dulls the memory. Uh, uh, Angry, we are being rude. Please ask our guests to share our humble meal. <laughs> yes. Humble indeed. Things are not always what they seem. Om Namah Shivaya.
Allow me. Om Namah Shivaya. expert magician, venerable sir. Not at all. Just a poor wandering teacher, your highness. Highness? They must be spies. Look, the medallion. The other half of the great Khan's medallion, returning at last. The long-awaited Marco Polo. Then the legend is true. Yes, princess. The legend of the medallion. Indeed, yes. Many years ago, there came a traveler from the West who became the most trusted friend of the great Kublai Khan. When the stranger desired to return to his homeland, Kublai Khan took the precious medallion of state and broke it in half, giving one of the pieces to his friend, Marco Polo. It was prophesied that seven times seven generations would pass before the medallions would be rejoined as one. A symbol of friendship that would destroy evil and bring peace to Xanadu. <clears throat> yes, uh, but uh, the fire is low. Why don't we go and tend it, my friend? <laughs> yes. How strange, Princess, that events of centuries ago and half the world away should lead us to meet in this beautiful valley can you not picture it, Marco? Is it not clear that through eternities of time and space, it was written that we should meet? Perhaps this is our destiny. I have walked, yet I'm walking for the first time. And I have seen, still I'm seeing for the first time. Though I have heard many sweet sounds around me, somehow I'm hearing them all for the first time. And all the days without you, somehow they seem just like a dream. Full speed ahead! Back to Xanadu! On my 
Raja. On! does not like you to fly so far without him, little bird. <laughs> You'll feel much happier in the gilded cage I have prepared for you. I'll die before I marry you, you foul villain. <laughs> I'll tame her yet. You better not harm the princess. Ah, so this is the heir of Marco Polo. Looks remarkably healthy for someone who's been devoured by the monster. Idiots! <laughs> See here, boy, I have nothing against you. All I want is the medallion. Give it to me and you shall be set free and may stay on as my personal guest at the royal wedding. You'll never have my medallion or the princess. The boy! He's getting away! Stop him! jagged rocks below. Oh, no. no one can match the powers of the great red dragon. <laughs> Before this day ends, you shall be mine, my dear. And I, I shall be emperor of Xanadu. <laughs> never, never. Now, on with the wedding. Come on, everybody move. Keep to the right there. Come on, keep it moving. 
Our evil master has so many eager subjects. Especially when he has his troops prod them on to his wedding. <laughs> oh, dear, I hope we'll be in time. Hey, look, over there. There's that villainous traitor of a servant who helped the princess escape. Guards, seize him! Oh, <laughs> is about to begin. Oh dear, my magic is useless. I can't control their minds if they do not look into my eyes. Oh, by the light of the great celestial globe, he lives! Quickly, bring me a coconut and, Maja, some of those bamboo roots. I must prepare a potion. Ceremony begin. Om Namah Shivaya. Oh, 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 Guru, what, what happened? Marco, you're going to be all right now. Oh! The princess, is she all right? Oh, there's not a moment to lose. We must stop the wedding. Quickly. Oh, ever-present spirit of the great Khan, we invoke thy aid and blessings in this ceremony we are about to perform. Bring the medallion. Isn't it exciting? 
king. Our evil master will soon be king. Yeah, that'll make him a real legal villain. But look at that. The princess refuses to touch the medallion. Come, come, my dear. You must put the medallion around my neck to make it all official. No. No, never. Would you prefer that something violent happen to Pangu, your trusted servant? You see, my friends, things are not what they seem. Take care of the princess, Guru. I've got a score to settle with the red dragon. Help! Help! I've got to get to my oracle! Help! The voice of the flame! Quick! What do I do now? Think of something. Evil will be destroyed by fire. Fire? Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Red Dragon, this time you're finished. Not as long as I have my magic oracle, I'm not. Oh. Take that, you rotten kid. What are you doing? Burn him, not me. Evil will be destroyed by Happiness, too, my friends, is illusory. But is it not a pleasant illusion? And it was prophesied that seven times seven generations would pass before the medallions would be rejoined as one. Dear Marco, Thanks to you and all your friends, Xanadu is free again. Together, you and I shall guide the destinies of Xanadu. Together, you and I. 
Gee, Princess, I... I thought you knew. I can't stay. I've got to go. I've got to be... on my way. Someday I'll be coming back to you. I will someday. Maybe you'll be standing on this hill. The dust of adventure has all settled down. I can think of settling down too. When everything that happens to me only reminds me of Zanadu, then I'll be coming. I'll be coming. I'll be coming. Wait and see. Half a world away, half a world or more. Doesn't matter once I've done the things I've set out to do. There's no other one I can share with. All the things that I will have to share. There's no one I want to be. Let's go. 